Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I'm so excited. I haven't filmed one of these in a while. I think the last one was over winter, like my book miss videos. I think my last book miss video was a 24 hour reading challenge and I was very sick during that. I decided to do another one. I actually wanted to do this because I want to get through my TBR so bad and I feel like this is like a really good way to do that because if I'm reading straight for this many hours, I'm bound to get some books read that's on my TBR. So I did start early this morning. I think I started around 8 o'clock so I've been going for a bit already. I did decide to split it between like two days. I'm going to do 12 hours today and 12 hours tomorrow just because I know myself. I know I like to go to bed and I know I cannot stay up late. Like I am an early sleeper. I go to bed. That's what I do. I do go to bed. I've tried the actual 24 hour challenge like straight through once before and it didn't work out well. And I just don't think it's for me. I'm not very good at it. Unless I'm like with someone, like maybe doing it with another person that could motivate me. But by myself, like I'm going to bed. So we're going to split it up 12 hours today, 12 hours tomorrow. I really want to get through some of my books. Like I said, I've been going for a bit. I have about nine hours and 40 minutes left. I do have some things to do today. I have an appointment. I have... Currently, I'm reading The Ashes and the Star Cursed King by Chris Broadman. This is the second book, the Nightborn Duet book two. First one is The Serpent and the Wings of the Night. I'm over halfway. This morning, I was like 40 something percent of the way through and now I'm like 50 something. So I've been reading a good amount and I've gotten to a really good part and I'm so sad I have to stop for a little. Oh, I have a meeting. That's the other thing I had. I fell asleep last night and probably the best part. I woke up this morning and I was like, like this is getting so good. If you don't know, this is about like a vampire world. That's all I got. So I'm gonna go read for a bit before my meeting that's in about like 40 minutes. Very excited. Let's see how far through I can get. I will update you guys as the day goes on, as the hours go by, and this should be fun. Let's see how many books I can get through and how much I can read. And that's just my goal. It's just to get some books knocked off my TBR. <laughs> okay, let's get back to reading. Do you guys remember when I started filming this video like this morning? That's how long I have left. <laughs> Things came up. I had my meeting at 12 and then I had to leave at 1 to go to my appointment which was an hour away. I got home around 4 and then I had to get ready because I went to dinner tonight. So I'm like, you know what? It's okay. I have no plans tomorrow. So we're gonna have to catch up tonight and literally all day tomorrow. I absolutely failed. But that's okay. I didn't get much further in the book. I'm on page 373. I usually fall asleep. That's my like issue is I will fall asleep so early. But if I like miss out that like time slot, like between like 11 and 12 is when I get so tired. So I'll either fall asleep. But if I'm able to stay up past 12, I'm up. Like I won't go to bed. I'll either fall asleep early or I'll be up reading. I'm gonna hope that I'm gonna be reading. I'm gonna go get ready for bed and then I'm gonna read all night long. shook right now because it's 1 20 a.m and i don't remember the last time i've been up this late which is kind of saying something i'm always asleep so early and i told you if i can get past 12 a.m maybe a little bit after like i'm up and i'm up right now and i am determined to finish this book i have like 100 pages left we've gotten halfway of the 12 hours so six hours left i'm so happy i'm finishing this book tonight like i literally the last thing i thought i was gonna do was finish this book and it just got so good like we just found something out that's like actually crazy i'm on page 492 there's like 600 pages i'm gonna go finish i'm so excited
almost just said good morning. It's definitely not morning. It's like 2.18. Last night, I don't know what got into me, but I did end up finishing... I did end up finishing The Ashes and The Star Cursed King. I still have no idea what this title means. I'm still trying to figure that one out. And I thought that I was going to wake up and just like completely forget what I read. But I remember everything. I absolutely love this and i was trying to think on this because like i've read this over a span of a few days like it didn't take me a short amount of time to read this like maybe it was even over the span of like a week like it, it was a pretty long amount of times so, like i read another book in between it and i have this thing where if i don't binge a book or read a book quickly in my head that means it's not a good book but i have to like stop that connotation with books and reading and everything like this was a phenomenal book i need to stop doing that absolutely loved this i gave this 4.75 stars this one i like a little better and it's interesting because i don't like politics in fantasies. I mean, I like the politics, but like, I don't want that to be the whole story. Like, I want more of the action and more of like, if there's a romance in there, that's what I like more. But there was more political things in here and I absolutely ate it up. I loved everything about this book. Like, there was the action, there was, the, the politics were fun and it was fun to go along and try to figure out what was happening. The romance that was happening between them, it was like a whole different trope going on. Didn't bore me. It was just so fun. And I love her pacing of her books because it's like never boring. And you would think with a 600 page fantasy book, like, there's gonna be some parts that drag out and like scenes that are a little bit boring but no i mean i know i've read it in a bunch of different sittings but the whole time i was reading i was like obsessed with it and last night i got to like such a good part i couldn't put the book down i had to stay up until like 3 a.m finishing and it was just such a fun experience the one thing is like i think the ending for me i can't tell if i loved the ending or i wanted more from the end i don't know that's why i didn't give it a full five stars i don't know little factors that are going into me being picky about my rating but i loved it that knocked off a lot of time for me because i read for a bunch of hours last night finishing this i ended up up reading for eight hours yesterday not 12 so this is gonna have to roll into today and tomorrow i thought it was only gonna take me two days but things happen i have about two hours left of the 12 hours i woke up this morning and i was like okay i need a romance and i started flawless by elsie silver this is the chestnut springs is that what it's called series I think there's three out right now. A fourth is coming out. This one is about Summer and Rhett. And Summer was put on as like her job by her dad, who's the agent of Rhett. And Rhett's like ruining his reputation right now. He's like this big country guy, whatever. So Summer's put on like the job by her dad to babysit him and like watch over him for the few months just to get his reputation back on track. So she's now staying with him and his brothers and his father on their ranch. It's giving small town little romance. It's giving summer vibes. It's giving country. And one thing about me is I love country music. So I put on shout out bestie larry reads over here because i was searching for a good playlist for this and all of them had some country in it but i wanted a specific country playlist so i found this one it said pov you fell in love with the cowboy and it's bestie's playlist fitting the vibe so well just listening to the country and like reading this book and i've gotten 142 pages in and i'm really happy about that because this is going so well i needed this i needed a romance i love the writing of this i am loving it i already ordered the second one so things are looking good with this book. I'm excited to read this. I guess I'm gonna finish this today if I'm gonna be reading all day. So far, so good. I'm loving the plot. I'm loving the banter. I'm loving a lot about this book. I'm gonna finish the two hours that are left and then start the timer up again for the other half, the other 12 hours we're gonna do. I will update you guys when I read some more. I'm just gonna read all day and we'll see how much I get done today. Maybe we'll start a new book later tonight. That would be fun. Okay, goodbye. flawless last night i gave it four stars it was just like such good vibes like i loved the country small town vibe I, it just really made my day listening to the country music with it it was just perfect i gave it four because there were some parts that were just like a little cringy to me and i just have to keep telling myself not to take romances like this so seriously it's all fun 
you know. But I did give it four stars. It was really good. I ordered the other two, so I'm excited for those to come. I'm excited to read those. Very fun things. And then last night, I started a thriller, A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. I read another one of her books like a few weeks ago, but I want to give another one of her books a try. I've heard this one is like really, really good. I didn't get too far. I got to page 45. This is basically about these six girls go missing from this small town, and the main character's father is the one that goes to jail for it. And now it's like, I think 20 years later. I haven't gotten past that. I don't know much, but I think that another girl goes missing and it kind of like connects. I already have a theory in my head. I'm 45 pages in. I just, I can never rest. I can never relax when I'm reading a thriller. So we'll see if I'm right. Imagine I'm right from reading only 40 pages, but I will let you guys know I have seven hours and 50 minutes left. It's just taking a lot longer than I expected. I'm just reading when I can at this point. I'm not really just going to read straight through because I realize I have more things to do than I realize. Like I can't just sit and read for that long. I didn't plan this out correctly, but it's okay because I'm still going to end up reading for the 24 hours. It's just, it's split up a lot longer than I expected it to be. But I'm gonna go read this, start my timer, and we will see how it goes. Would you guys believe me if I said I'm still filming this days later? It's now Tuesday. <laughs> I seriously can't believe how long this video is taking me. I am more busy than I expected to be. I have about 54 minutes left, but I did finally finish A Flicker in the Dark. I don't know what I'm gonna rate this. I'm like between a 3.75 and a 4. 4 feels too high. Remember when I said I guessed something in the very beginning? Was I like 40 pages in? I don't remember how many pages in I was, but I was like correct on half of it. The first thing I guessed, it, it happened. Some of my theories were correct, but then lots was going on at the end, and I really enjoyed the ending. I liked the way that everything came to light. It was just getting there. Like the 250, 300 pages before was just like, it wasn't getting to the point. Like in thrillers, I like when it's like things are being uncovered and like it's really fast paced. Like I didn't want to just sit and binge this. The thing is her writing's not bad. I enjoy her writing. I like her writing. I just don't like the way she tells the story. Because I read one of her other books, I think I said. I, same thing. I didn't like the way it flows. Like it doesn't keep me on the edge of my seat because you're like, I don't know how to explain it without like going too deep into like spoiling stuff. So I didn't love. I wasn't on the edge of my seat to figure it out. You know, it was like that. And the same thing happened with the other book I read by her. So I think I'm going to go 3.75. Not my favorite. You know, I've had other thrillers and other thriller authors that I love. Like if you found your taste in thrillers and mysteries when you read so many of them, now I know what I like in them. And I have like these auto buy authors where if Alice Feeney or Frida comes out with a new book, like I'm buying them. I need to start reading more books from different authors in the thriller world. But I feel like once you like an author, you Want to read all their thrillers and all their mysteries because you like the way they write but i just don't love the way that she writes therefore i will be giving it a 3.75 anyway i have 54 minutes left i also am going on a trip tomorrow that's why i'm so busy like i've been packing shopping for it like doing all these things for it so it's been i've been a little busy just got my nails done I'm filming a specific like reading vlog type of thing on vacation and I don't want to start those books right now because I'm not there yet, obviously. So I also don't want to start another book right now and like not finish it in time because it's already like halfway through the day and I'm not going to finish a book by the time I leave tomorrow. Well, starting now until like the plane and on the plane, I want to go back through at Magnolia Parks, re-annotate, re-tab. I feel like it'll be a good distraction on the planes because I don't like planes. I feel like I need to do it and I feel like the plane's a perfect excuse because being home, I have so many books I want to read and videos I want to film that I don't like have time to just sit and do that. I feel like on the plane, it's like the perfect opportunity. And I have an hour left of this and the rest of my day today before I leave tomorrow to do this. The next 50-ish minutes, I'm gonna be going right back through this book. I'm gonna re-annotate knowing them and knowing what's happened between them and knowing these characters. I feel like rereading the first one is gonna be a really visceral experience. I am so excited. I'm gonna like tab in everything. I'm trying to pick which colors I wanna do. So Daisy Hates too. I tabbed as well. And I used up all of one whole tabs. These are from Cloth and Paper. This is the Apollo color. It's like a dark gray black. They're kind of like a little transparent, but I feel like this matches. I'm gonna use this color. And then for a long way home, I'm gonna use the dark ones. You guys don't care what colors I'm tabbing my books with. Anyway, that's what I'll be doing for the next 50-ish minutes to finish out this 24-hour reeling vlog. I seriously cannot believe how long it's been taking me. I thought I was gonna film this Friday and Saturday and be done with it. Have this video up while I'm on vacation. But no, <laughs> it's now Tuesday and I'm still going. See you guys after the 50-ish minutes are up.
have officially read. I haven't read for 24 hours, but I read in that time. You guys watched the video, you know what I've done. Literally, like I'm finding things that are just like so many crumbs to what happens in the future. And literally page two was like a foreshadow. And I was like, oh my God, this is like perfect. Thank you guys for coming along with me during this. Next time I do one of these, I'm gonna have to plan it out a little bit better. I thought that it would take me two days. I just, I have it didn't. So let's do a wrap up. I literally have no idea what I've read in this video. I think I read The Ashes and the Star Cursed King. Still think it's like one of my favorite top fantasies, my top fantasy author. Really good storyline, the romance, the politics, everything about this is just, it's so, so good, done so well. The writing is just amazing. And then I read Flawless. Oh my God, the lighting. And the ice cream truck is coming down the street. Do you hear it? Then I read Flawless by Elsie Silver. I absolutely love this. It started this whole kick of country aesthetic for me. Like, I don't know. I'm obsessed with the country vibes that are in here. And I said it took place on a small town and people are saying it's not small town because it takes place in this part of Canada. But where he lives on the ranch and like the little town he goes to is giving small town. Am I wrong on that? I'm pretty sure it's part, whatever. Either way, I really liked this. I'm really excited to start the second one. I'm going to start it tomorrow. I think that was the one I read the quickest. And then I read A Flicker in the Dark. I think I only read three books within 24 hours. This one I literally just finished. I don't know. You just you just heard my thoughts. I just still I'm just a little like, like iffy on that book. And then obviously I'm gonna be annotating this. I'm like reading it really. I'm just gonna go in and out of annotating this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for coming along this journey with me. This long journey. Again, I did not think it was gonna take this long, but I have finally finished. I'm very excited to get this video up for you guys. I just wanted to film it because at first I just I wanted to read within the 24 hours really quick, but then it kind of turned into me just reading when I could, and then just like within the 24 hours. I don't know. I don't know how I'm explaining this right now but it was fun nonetheless thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you enjoyed let me know if you've read any of these books your opinions your thoughts literally anything let me know and that's all for me for today thank you guys again for watching and i'll see you hopefully in the next one bye